Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 28 of Daryl20's... Oh, that's terrible loot, isn't it? Really? Uh, let's play series. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, last episode, uh, we wrapped up, and I was getting ready for this episode and stumbled upon a thing. Uh, figured I'd loot it on camera. Found, uh, found one of those dungeons, just like the... I guess it's a vanilla dungeon. Uh, there was a zombie spawner in the center here. I already picked it up and dropped it into the A system, so that's cool. Uh, I'll, I'll pick up any other cool things that look good. Uh, sure, stuff and whatnot. Okay. Touch rune to spell heal amplify. Oh, that's cool. Cast the spell at half the cost of the user's entire mana bar or whichever is smallest. Cures status effects and heals the user. Nice. I like that. Okay. Uh, so there's a bunch of these that you can find from Ars Nouveau throughout the world. Uh, but yeah, just figured I'd grab some of the loots out of this out of this dungeon here. What else did we get? Anything cool? I hadn't looked in these yet. Uh, by, you know, obviously because they're gold, so you, you know I didn't look in them yet. Uh, I was kind of waiting until I got on camera here to show you what I found. A streamlined bow. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think I need that. I'll take that guy, though. Spawner Agitator from Pneumaticraft. I should get into Pneumaticraft soon-ish, because that's one of my favorite mods, Pneumaticraft. Super fun. Uh, I, I know you guys have probably seen it a few times before, uh, and that's fine, but it's still a super fun and favorite mod of mine. Uh, what I was making uh, was a basement -y basement a deep a deep second second basement uh and and i heard zombies and i'm like wait a minute there's a torch here there shouldn't be any zombies spawning so they were loud and annoying uh so i was like well there's only one reason zombies would be spawning if there's a spawner so i i dug down and i kind of listened for where they would be and it sounded like they were coming from this direction and then i found this little dude right there so figured i'd show that to you on camera uh i was preparing for today uh there's there's things i'd like to do i would like to um, make this less terrible. I've been, I've been, I've been putting this off for, for many episodes now, and it's about time that we actually treat our, uh, A system like something like a grown-up. So, here's my plan. I'm going to, um, tidy up the ME controller that's here, uh, make it a little bit nicer, and prep for, um, like, just better all-around cabling and stuff. Uh, in addition, I would like to see how hard it'll be to get a quantum singularity because i think i can do something with this with the wireless dude quantum bridge card supported by wireless universal terminal and wireless terminals is that is that the one that i have the wireless universal wireless crafting terminal okay uh but there's like a thing that might be able to have infinite range and i would like to have that if i can um so the other thing I want to do that I've really, really never done before is take a look at the paintballs from Applied Energistics. Um, only because I've I've really never done this before. And it might be a cool idea to kind of, you know, make things look cool. Now, isn't there from A2, like, there's a there's a paint applicator or something. Color applicator, this dude. Yeah, that's what I want. One of those. That'll let me color code my cables so that they look a little bit nicer. And then I can uh, more easily identify what they are. I always kind of am lazy about this. And I'm like, you know what? In this series, I'm, I'm going to do things better. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do my best to, 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 to make things look nice. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Cool. Um, so what I should do is get some more sky stone. Uh, we should have plenty of that stuff. Uh, I'm just going to smelt it up into the sky stone blocks version. And then we'll uh, also make sure that we have enough engineering process. Yeah, we should be good there. Uh, because controllers um, can come in many shapes and sizes. Okay. A2 controller. Uh, that should be cool now. Sure, why not? We'll go with 8-ish of them. Um, so what I'm thinking is, how should we set this up? Should we set it up? Because each, um, each controller block uh, can be a multi-block. So I can expand this down. But it, it kind of wants to be cuboided, I think. If I'm not mistaken. So what are the chances that I can, like, do that? I don't know the exact shape that it needs to be, but it seems okay being that. Um, so what we could have... Um, and I don't know, again, how far this is allowed to go. I guess we'll find out. That's not technically the floor shape that I should be using, but whatever. Boop, boop. Oh, see, now it's not happy anymore. Um, yeah, once it does that, I don't think it's happy anymore. So, um, let's see... 
32 channels per face. Multi-block controllers can be built fairly freeform. However, there are a few, few rules. Um, the size of the controller must be within 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, else it will turn red. A controller can have two adjacent blocks and at most one access. If a block violates this rule, it will disable and turn red. Okay, cool. Uh, and no multiple controllers in a network. So seven is the limit. That's fair. Um, so I can get this into the floor here, but I can't go much deeper. Okay, that's... That's a thing we'll just have to deal with. And I'm gonna have to remember where my positioning is. So I can like, this is the limit, right? Like this is the, we're done. We can't go any taller than that. I kind of wanted to be able to go down a little bit. So what I think I'll do, boy, you take a while to break, don't you? Just a, just a smidge. Um, but we could do like a three by three-ish. I like the idea of like the central pillar of the of the basement being uh, the controller. That's going to be relatively expensive, you know, but not not end of the world expensive, right? Like we could do that, um, and then do a similar setup and just you know on the ceiling and then build it up. That could that could be cool. That could definitely be cool. How are we for more sky stone? Uh, not bad. We can get another stack easily enough. And we should probably think about making more engineering processors. We need more silicon, huh? What was the process for making silicon? It's it's a sag mill recipe that I've been going with, right? Uh, now the sag mill with silicon and sand, I believe it is. Any sand, it's a 50% chance. Modifiable by the grinding ball. So here's what I do for these kind of recipes, okay? Um... Because AE2 really doesn't expect the whole, you might get something out of it, right? It, it really expects, like, you put an item, you get out item. That's how AE2 works. That's the expectation. So if you have a recipe like Silicon, where there's a chance to get the item, what you should really do is make it almost guaranteed that you'll get at least one. So what I do is I modify this sand, um, and I make it, like, four sand, right? So chances are... If you put four sand into a sag mill, you're going to get at least one silicon out of that. Okay, that's a really good chance. Um, it may not be perfect, but if you want it to be perfect, like make it ten if you really want to be super careful. And there's like almost no chance that you'll put ten pieces of sand in there and not at least get one silicon. And that tricks AE2, right? AE2 doesn't mind if it gets extra silicon. It only wants to make sure it gets at least the one it's expecting. Okay. Um, so now if I say, hey, give me more engineering processors, right? That shouldn't be a problem. And he's crafting and he's cool. Sweet. Okay, uh, I'll come back in a minute once I craft a few more controllers and then we'll be ready to flesh this out. All right, so uh, disconnecting everything here shouldn't be too big of a hassle for me. All right, whole AE system offline at this point, but that's just temporary. And then I'm gonna build this up to basically be about here. Okay, not you. Might be a little ridiculous, but it should be cool. All right, so we're gonna need a few more of these, not a big deal. Uh, let's get you re-hooked up. Did you have upgrades? You did, okay. So now that should bring you back online, everything? Uh, yes, but I read connect. Uh, this dude is, is disconnected because he's in a new position now. We'll probably have to reconnect him a few times, so I'm gonna leave him out of my curio slot for a minute. Okay, a uh, few more engineering processors, right? So now you should be crafting silicon, right? So we're gonna take 76 sand and turn it into 19 silicon. We should get way more silicon than that, right? Um, we should, right, in theory. Yeah, it looks like it's doing a good job. It's doing just fine, right? And then we'll have a bunch of extra silicon, and next time we need to craft, it'll already be there. And more skystone. Do I have more skystone in this dude by chance? 
Nope. I might need to visit one of those meteors again. Is there a recipe for Skystone out of curiosity? Skystone dust can smelt into it. But realistically, you probably just need... Oh, Ad Astra has its own Skystone. Cool. Oh, look, there's a, there's a, there's a thing for the extractor recipe for Skystone dust. Uh, okay. So you put that on top of the not so mysterious cube and make sure that it's surrounded by a sky stone and then you can make unlimited sky stone. Okay, that's cool. That's nifty. Let me go get a little bit more sky stone. Uh, I'm just going to pop over to a nearby... Uh, how about due east of me? Looks like there's one. And just harvest up some more sky stone and then we'll be back. All right, let's see what kind of luck I might have gotten here. Certus quartz, chipped certus, damaged... Damaged, damaged, flawed, not flawless, unfortunately, and chipped and damaged. All right, no, no flawed, so that's, you know, exciting. So you're actually not a tile entity, Mysterious Cube? Hmm. Okay, today I learned. Uh, that said, I think what I'd like to do is leave that here so that in the future, if I do decide I want to have a, a Zycraft style farm, then we'll have access to do that, right? I think that would be cool. Let's let's do that. We'll keep it there. Cool? So I'm just going to harvest up some more of this stuff, and I'll be back. Look at that freezing upgrade doing its job, though. Oh, look who came to visit. He's like, you know what? I'm so desperate to sell you something, I'm going to spawn in lava. Okay, then. That's clever. Anyway, that's a thing that just happened, isn't it? Okay, so you go ahead and get smelted up more sky stone. And then we should be cool to make a few more of these. Now, there's really no reason that we have to do this. I'm just kind of going for, like, making it look cool purposes. I think that looks neat, right? Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Part of me wishes it was, like, a little bit, like, maybe a, instead of 3x3, three 5x5 three, five five, might look cooler. I might expand it. Shouldn't be that much more expensive to expand, right? I could probably pull that off without too much trouble. All right, I'm going to do that off camera and see how it looks. All right, I think I've got enough now. How does this look? Kind of cool. I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I think that looks better, right? So that'll be like the heart of the uh, of the AE system. That'll be the heart of the of the area here. I think that looks all right. Ah, I don't know. It's a little bit much, but kind of cool. So um now, now, technically, there's nothing saying that I couldn't also instead do something like that. That's another valid design. Yeah, there's all kinds of neat ones. You can, I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff. Yeah, I toyed around with a couple of zoom. Uh, I think this is probably good. Tried a couple different designs. I think, I think this one works for now. If I decide I want to tweak it, I can. But now I have access to, like, a bunch of channels. Because remember, every face of this block can be a channel. Uh, 32 of them. Right, uh, now the next thing I want to get is that color applicator. So everything should be back up and running and we should be cool now. So I should be able to craft that. Um, and then I should be able to craft as soon as CPUs are available. Which reminds me, I should add crafting CPU storage to the um, auto crafter, which I don't know if we have enough pattern provider. Yeah, I could probably throw one more pattern provider down there. Because my plan for today is to really amp up my AE system to get it to the point where it's going to be able to support us going forward, right? Uh, which I'm all about. I'm all about making this thing behave a little bit better for me. So let's throw another pattern provider on, say, how are we for channels over here? We should only have three, I want to say, in use. Five. Five? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because one here and that one. And then these three. And this is why we need to clean this up. Because it's too many, right? Uh, six now? Yes, yeah, six. Cool. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to want to get... Um, probably 16k storages going, uh, for crafting, for crafting, uh, so 16k crafting storages, because you already know how to make 16ks, we'll teach it crafting units, and then we'll teach it coprocessors, uh, because those are a nice thing to have, ooh, mega crafting co provides four co, wow, that's cool, I will have to try that out at some point, okay, and then you can go into... Technically, I guess we didn't need that, but I'm sure we'll have a few more auto craftings done before I move everything down. Okay, so now with you all up and running and cool, let's look at 
Um, let's look at moving this thing downstairs. Does that sound like a plan? So what I'm going to want is a bunch of dense cables. Um, let's get like 20 of those. Is that doable? Should be, should be. Uh, and like a hundred fluix on top of that, which we need another crafting CPU for, so we're going to wait. Uh, and then in addition to this, I'm going to go ahead and make, um, these guys. Though I need to kind of wait for you. How long are you going to be? Not particularly fast, but not terribly slow either. He's doing his thing. He's just not super quick, right? If I had acceleration cards in there, of which we do have enough... That would speed things up significantly, right? Because it's all manual crafting, really. We're just waiting for it. And it can only do like one step at a time because there's only one molecular coprocessor here and there's no coprocessors over there. So yeah, definitely going to need. All right, so in a moment, our CPU should be available. There we go. Now we can make this, which means we can make that cool and color applicator I do like that little flickering thing that the crafting does that is cool all right sweet now I don't exactly know why you work or how you work and exactly how this is going to behave how do you work exactly All right, let me remember how the color applicator works. All right, so there's a couple things we're gonna need here. Uh, first off, we want an ME chest. I'm pretty sure this is the way to do this. Um, ME chests need power and a storage cell, but we're gonna put the color applicator into here as a storage cell, but notice it has no power. Uh, luckily, we do have some cables we can lean into here, and this won't use up a channel, I don't think. I don't think it uses a channel. Um, that was interesting. You can see all the all the stuff there, huh? That's cool. Why do you see all that stuff? Uh, if all I want is power, then what I could do is put a quartz dude here and then that, and then he'll only receive power and not networking traffic. Cool. A little, little pro tip. Now, in addition, I would like uh, a matter condenser, which should be getting power. And we can use, uh, I think we want to make a 64K for singularities. Um, so we'll start by making a 64K, which will take a few seconds, not too long. And then once that's done, we can throw it in there. That'll allow us to make singularities or other stuff. So let's get a bunch of cobblestone, because that's usually what I do. Um, and we we still have our cobble maker from the extractor in here. So he's still running. Uh, so what I can do is very simply uh, export bus some cobble into this dude. Okay, so what I'll say is let's get an export bus in addition to uh, the 64K storage guy, which shouldn't take too much longer, I don't think. We'll see what happens. Yeah. What I might want to do then is... Mm, no, I can do this. I can, I can do this. Yeah, no, I know what I want to do. Yeah, this won't be bad. You're still crafting in there, buddy? Come on. Thought I had you on like super speed. You guys are set to like go really fast, right? Yeah, no, you're pretty good. You're a little bit slow still, but I guess. Uh, you know what the probably the throttle is? It is laser IO. Because I don't have uh speed upgrades on the extractors. We'll look at that in a future episode. Today I want to finish what I'm working on. There we go. 64k storage card done. So get me an export bus, please. That one shouldn't be too bad. I do like that it sticks the things at the top here so that you can use them when you go to crack. Like, that's a brilliant thing, in my opinion. And then you should be able to connect there, and that will have power now, right? So if I throw this in here and we toggle this instead of destroy items, you can either condense it into matter balls or singularities. In this instance, I want to do a matter ball, okay? Now, it might have only been 16K that I need. I forget, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, so 
matter balls. So for every 256 items we put in here, we'll get uh, a matter ball. So if I got cobblestone and I told you to go, so he should start inserting cobble very, very, very slowly because export buses are not fast until you give them accelerator cards, right? Then it'll do like much better. And we can use these matter balls to create paintballs, right? And the paintballs is how we will paint the different channels in our base. Uh, so I'm going to use these paintballs to, uh, to, to color code the wires running around my base so that going forward, I can realize like which cables are which. Sound like a plan? Hope so, because, you know, I don't usually do this. So I'm trying to, like I said, show off some cool features and do different things. It, it should be fun. Uh, why are you so not moving anymore? You're interesting. We can't possibly be out of cobble, can we? You know what? In theory, yes, we can. Okay, then. That cobble did not go very far, did it? No, no. Matter balls do not go very far, do they? I guess not. Uh, so 256 items. Yeah, I guess, I guess that wouldn't be a lot, would it? Uh, are you still moving, buddy? I would assume you are. Yes, why are you not import busing cobblestone? Because you should be. Missing channel. Why are you missing a channel? Oh, I know what's happening. Yeah, I know what's happening. We were probably capped out on, this is why we need to fix our, our network. We were capped out on channels. Uh, on that line, and when we added the export bus, it uh, it broke it broke the importer, right? So now we should be getting cobble again, which is cool. But that's really slow. We're gonna need like a lot more cobblestone than that, like a lot more cobblestone than that. So, uh, but at least for now, we can make something. Uh, let's get some red dye. Does that sound like a plan? Sure, red dye sounds like a good color to go with. So now, if I put this in here. You should have red dye in the color applicator. Sweet. It's weird to me that there's nothing like, I guess it's in your hand, but maybe the first person view of it is not great. Cause like, I really am not, you can kind of see it if you move your thing, but this will let you um, color code your cables. So if we got a handful of cables, I should probably just kick off like a hundred of these by the way, but let's use dense cables for now. Um, if I If I placed dense cables in the world, uh, I'm pretty sure I can color code them. Oh, that's cool. See? And now they're red. Now when I pick them up, they stay red. Sweet. Uh, and then I think we can wash them with a water bucket or a snowball to uh, turn them back to, to regular regular colors. Okay? Now the deal is that um, two colors... Colors can connect to Fluix, like the defaults. So they can connect like this. But different colors can't connect to each other, I would imagine. Uh, that's usually how it works, but like I said, I don't play with this mechanical that much. Uh, what I should get is more matter balls. Now, how are you for storage in here? Uh, one of 27 types, plenty of storage. Uh, I'm assuming that this will go a long way for me. Um, so let's get, what can I throw in here? Gravel feels like a good thing. So if I just threw a bunch of gravel in there, that would get me two, okay. Sweet. I'm gonna have to turn my gravel thing back on. Okay, there we go. Good to go. So let's reactivate this dude. At some point soon, once I have channels sorted, I'm gonna make you automated better. Right now, I'm manually turning it on and off. I don't wanna do that anymore. Okay. So now let's take those eight matter balls and let's get like blue. Does that sound cool? So I'll get some blue dye. We'll put the matter balls around that. We'll put the color applicator back in here. We'll add it. Oh wow, you're down to five red paint balls? That can't be right. That can't be right, can it? and then shift mouse wheel to change the colors. Okay, now I wanna make sure that that's not really how that works because that seems like a really, 
Okay. And we're out of paintballs. Really? Paint don't go very far, do it? No, no it does not. That doesn't seem right. Does that seem right? It does not. Let me look into that. All right, so what I've done is I've put just some red dye in there and we'll see how that works out. So red, yeah, I don't... yeah, it doesn't, that's not, that's not great. I don't know, maybe that's why I never use the color applicator. It seems like a lot of dye to burn through uh, for color coding. But that said, I can absolutely just go to get a rose bush to get a ton of red dye, uh, lapis for blue dye, and then we can get a few other dyes as needed. So yeah, doable. Now I think if I put snowballs in there, which by the way, can I make snowballs? Uh, Entropy manipulator can make them. I was looking for something a little bit more automated-y. Uh, extractor recipes, okay. So you're telling me snow above or below a carved pumpkin, right? Um, or a regular pumpkin should be able to do that with the extractor. Let's try that. Get me another extractor, Zycraft. Okay, so you're saying snow and pumpkin. Oh, I have carved pumpkins, look at that. Okay, cool. Uh, for now, just uh, snowballs. I wanna see like the whole block. I don't want just like, there we go. Snow block, carved pumpkin, snow block on top of a carved pumpkin. So we would do this, 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 and then that should work. I think. I think. Or snow pumpkin extractor. You think the green thing needs to be the extractor? Maybe. I have a shovel, don't I? Yes. Snow pumpkin extractor? Hey, there we go. That's working. Ha <laughs> Maybe that's what that means. Maybe the green, uh, the green might be where the extractor needs to be. So like the extractor needs to be on top of the structure. Maybe if I wanted to go this way, the extractor needs to be below the structure. Even though like this is showing upwards, but I think that's what that green means. I might be wrong, but I, that's my guess. Okay, hey, we have lots of snow now, so that's cool. So snow, I believe we put inside here, right? And then you should be able to color applicator Fluix this back. So it'll use snowballs to rotate it back. All right, cool. All right, so I got the I got the gist of this. So how am I for bone at the moment? Uh, not bad, not bad. I can take a couple of these. Do I have grow on here? I do have the grow, growing effect. Uh, break, leap, animate, flare, fire, mage light. How about a touch grow? Touch, grow, create. I'm curious. There we go. I knew there were rose bushes around here somewhere. Uh, let's just stick one outside. The rest can go away for a minute. And then I should be able to grow. Yeah, that works. And I could automate that if I want, by the way. I'm just saying. Uh, and then is there like a faster mechanic? Uh, the crush glyph will give me... That's interesting. I wonder if that would actually... But yeah, probably not. Um, sag mill can get me bonuses. Sag mill is probably a good way to go. Mechanical squeezer gets me some bonuses too, but I don't have one of those set up yet. Okay, we'll sag mill it up. That'll do.
All right, so let's do this. We've got a foundation for a much better AE setup here, I think. Let's come back next episode. Uh, I'm going to start tearing everything down, and we're going to use P2P cables. Uh, we'll learn how those work if you've not seen them before. They're super cool and fun. And we'll use uh, dense cables. We should have a bunch of them now. Uh, and regular flux cables. And uh, we're probably going to need a handful more of these quartz fibers as well. For now, let's wrap it up point. Dial 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to really tidy up the whole AE system. Then work on infinite range wireless. That would be cool. Uh, and another thing I'd like to get going sooner than later, uh, and I'm going to put it on my to-do list before I forget, is jetpacks. I would like to have uh, some very nice jetpacks, right? Emerald is tier 5, Platinum is tier 4, Diamond is tier 4. Emerald sounds cool, right? Uh, vertical, horizontal. Hover speed is 0. Hover speed is 0, zero 5. So I think this is what I want because I think that means I won't descend. Well, there's a hover descend speed, but I it, we'll see. We'll see. Um, emerald jetpacks shouldn't be too bad. I'm, I'm pretty good on emeralds. Like, I'm not great on emeralds, but I'm pretty good on emeralds. We'll see if I have enough. Uh, at the very least, I can I can make a diamond jetpack for sure, right? Um, no, diamond jetpack. Thank you. Steel, electrum, gold, iron, and stone, and wood. Okay, that's probably the path that we're going to want to follow eventually. Uh, but like I said, I really want to get the AE system up and running a lot better. So for now, wrap it up point. Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll come back next time and have lots more dye available. So basically what I'm going to do is stick this in here. And then when we get, you know, a bunch of red dye, we can throw it in there. Boop. Uh, and we get a bunch of blue dye uh, via lapis and throw that in there. Okay. We get a bunch of snowballs. Throw them in there. Okay. Um... And you know we could we could do other colors too uh, if we so decide right we could get uh, cyan or or just white would be fine right we have plenty of bone meal so we could get like a few stacks of white if we wanted to that shouldn't be a problem did you not oh right you're still set to die cool all right and then your storage is not even close to full right so now we can easily adjust good stuff cool all right for now wrap it up point double twenty side off take it easy.